Start it up. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Superstar to be here with you guys today. We're playing some more Clash Royale. Just want to thank you guys real quick for stopping by and hanging out. Also, wanted to let you guys know that I am also posting a Minecraft video today. I know. Wow! Minecraft Hardcore. Um, I'm posting that. I'm going to try posting other things on this channel and diversifying um, because it gets kind of boring playing the same game. Uh, and I think it's important to kind of branch out. So we're going to be posting that. Um, I'm going to start posting Bloon stuff again soon as well in preparation for BDD Battles 2, which is honestly probably going to transition into my main game. Um probably around the end of the year something along those lines so i'm excited for lots of things going on so if you guys are minecraft fans definitely check out that video but if you're not then just watch this one and that's totally cool what are we doing today first of all um we are going to be playing uh in the double elixir and then in the triple elixir and in the uh infinite elixir i'm not sure if we'll do all of them today we might do double and triple because we are going to be playing with the best deck for those which is this like this deck is absolutely insane especially in uh infinite elixir where it doesn't matter if you use an elixir golem because they already have so much elixir that it doesn't even freaking matter so let's go ahead jump straight in here why don't you guys comment down below your favorite game mode uh in the game like if you go over here to go to friends and let's just say you go to friendly battle you can see all of these what is your like what's your favorite game mode that you guys can play do you like ramp up do you like infinite do you like rage do you like draft which was created by me and nick um or like what do you guys like comment that down below but let's go ahead jump straight into it with this deck see if we can get ourselves four wins real quick all right because we're not messing around man and double elixir isn't too much that's the only thing double elixir is not too much um and so this deck could could see some problems but i think we'll be okay we'll go ahead and start off with this all right, so 100% this is going to be a uh, a balloon deck, okay? So I can't... Okay, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here. And we're already going to go for it. Like, I'm, I'm already heading in here. Messing with this thing. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this real quick. Maybe Dragon shoot once for me. Okay, Battle Healer is down, but honestly, we should still be able to take out this tower very, very easily. Inferno Dragon into an E-Drag? What are you doing, dude? That's never the play. Inferno Dragon into an E-Drag? Why would you, though? You know what I mean? I'm going to go right here because I know that this is going to come over here. Um, and then we can go right here. And I can go right here. And we... Oh, okay. Watch this. Come over here. The barbs are going to spawn, and they're going to fight perfectly for us. And I'll let him take that tower. I don't really care. Because we are about to absolutely dominate. Like, he can't do anything at this point. <laughs> That's why this deck is absolutely insane. Like, next level, just ridiculous insane. Everything's still alive. <laughs> and the crazy thing is about with like cards like the battle healer is the battle healer is only in that deck. Like you might see the battle healer in decks like 1% of the time in other ones. But seriously, 99% of the time you see a battle healer, you're going to see it in that deck. Uh, which is kind of crazy. But let's go ahead and again, just get this rolling. I might just start off with it, man. You know, like we might be crazy. Let's do it. I'm going to start off with it right back here. Okay, and he's going in for it as well. So I'm okay with it, man. We, uh, we're we going to have a little bit of fun here. Cannon cart coming in. We'll go ahead and drop this off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop off my Barbarian Hut. All right, so he has E-Drag. I have E-Drag as well. So watch this. So we're going to go E-Drag, and then I'm going to go ahead and Tornado everything in right here. Go, please, 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 please. E-Drag should help out with some of that. Uh, my battle healer did die Which was not good He has a lot of things flying in here Which is not good Dude, that cannon card is full health right now Okay, I need something to happen Oh, because he put one in the bridge, that's why And we'll go ahead and do this real quick And I'll go ahead and send in my heal spirit 
as well as another baby dragon. Heal Spirit jumped. It did not help, though. Oh, I thought I was going to survive. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, and just try and take those out. Yep, it's going to work really good. And hopefully we can heal ourselves up with this. Heal up those baby dragons, please. All right, good. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, obviously he's going to make his way over here. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take this out as well. And I'll go right here. Dude, he's he's being kind of crazy. I'm going to be honest, y'all. My man's being kind of crazy. Can we please take out that other E-Drag? Genuinely concerned as to why that E-Dragon is still alive. All right, so he's going to start a big push here. Um, but I can go ahead and do this right here. And I'm going to have to go Baby Dragon behind all of his stuff. So we're going to go right here with this. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down as well. I need to heal this up. I need to pull all of this in. And I need that Baby Dragon to start doing one ounce of damage. But for some reason, the Baby Dragon is literally not doing any damage. Like, in all honesty, that Baby Dragon did no damage. We're going to end up losing here. Yep. Dang. Um, so I think in that scenario, going up against pretty much my same deck, but with Golem, uh, it is bad to have the Elixir Golem because it just, it feeds him for the Golem and to just continue to spam stuff. Um, that one was tough. Like, honestly, that was kind of, that one was kind of frustrating if I'm honest. I wasn't expecting, um... Like, we were getting good tornadoes and everything, and the baby dragon was just doing absolutely miserable damage. So that that was kind of frustrating. You can have that all you want to, my dude. Yeah, we're going to get some really good damage done over here. I'm going to go ahead and actually start working in on this side because those barbs are going to make it to the tower and might actually take it out. I'll go here. I'll go here real quick. We'll see if we can keep her alive. Dude, she's still alive. What a freaking hoss, man. Why are you full sending like that? I don't understand. That elixir golem on the right side is going to take that tower out completely. Log is not the play there, bud. So this guy just playing his miner here is not not really the best. Not really the best. Um, thing to be doing honestly We're gonna get some barbs out of this which is gonna be good I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. I don't want them to get there And they're not going to He's gonna go minor in the exact same place that he's been going And I don't even think that the miner targeted the elixir golem once there so that was fairly interesting we can go ahead and throw this in here. Get the baby dragon down as well. And then I can actually throw this in here too. And I'm surprised that the battle healer didn't stay alive there. But it's okay. Baby dragon should help take all that out. He's still going in hard here, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> because by doing that, he's giving us these massive pushes in this lane. Heal Spirit's going to do a good job for us there. I can actually go ahead and kite all the way over here. And that's game over. I'm not too sure what his deck was, but we handled it pretty well. All right, Sparta. Let's get another one going here. And not a bad starting hand. Once again, we got everything we need. So I'll go in the opposite lane here. Get this down. And honestly, not really going to worry about what he does unless it's like an RG or something. We can go ahead and send this down. We can go ahead and go right here. So it looks like he's going to have an E-Giant deck. I can go right here. I can throw this in there. I can get another Battle Healer in there, actually. And another one of these. And Inferno Dragon's not going to work against the E-Drag, guys. Why, I don't understand why people are doing this so much. It doesn't work. Don't waste your elixir. We're going to go ahead and send this in. 
throw this down right here and just climb our way in honestly healing this up I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this in e drag is gonna do a great job for us healing up against everything that the oh my gosh <laughs> Dude, what the freak? Look at that. We just completely destroyed one of the strongest decks in the game right now. That is one of the top decks in the game right now, guys. Uh, yeah, like that's, I, 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 I feel like that's up here. I believe that it's in the top. It was in the top like five the other day. Morton's playing that. Oh, that makes me sad. Why is that deck still good? Wait, look, this guy's kind of playing the one I'm playing. Where? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Um, cool. Let's keep going. All right. We're just going to start off with the Barb Hut here. Okay, that kind of sucks. But I guess I can actually do this. Jump on it. Why did it not jump? That's my question. Like, in all honesty, why didn't I jump? Alright, so this is going to be a lot of fun for us. Y'all ready? Alright, so we're going to pull all of this in here. And see if we can get some really good damage done with the E-Drag and the Baby Dragon. It actually doesn't look like the E-Drag is hitting anything for us. Um, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. He's got a Lightning, which is doing an unbelievable amount of damage for him. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull over here. See if we can get all these things to retarget. That was not good. Uh, Mega Knight against this deck is really, really strong. So we're going to end up having some... We're definitely going to end up having some problems here. I might need to start pushing in the opposite lane. He's going to get some, some free elixir there. I'll go ahead and do this and this here. And I'll go ahead and see if we can take this guy out. I might pull all this in here and just see what we can do with it. And again, I'll go ahead and drop this off and try and get these things to chase. Bandit's going to get a mine of its own there, which is a little bit frustrating, but it's okay. We can make this kite again. Uh, why is she going that direction? What the heck? All right, so we got Baby Dragon. We got this in here. I can go ahead and do this right here and hopefully get something going. Bandit's going to turn around. I need to get this heal down. I'm not too sure why the Bandit isn't taking any damage from an Electro Giant or a Baby Dragon. Or an Electro Dragon or a Baby Dragon. Um, so that was pretty solid, y'all. And now watch this. We're going to be able to, once again, have the Royal Ghost. Uh, he's not going to kite right there, but he is going to turn himself around. We can go ahead and throw this in here. We can throw this in here. Try and keep her alive. Yeah, she's going to heal up there. Look at that. That's sick. So we just turned that around very, very quickly. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Like, we flipped the script on that real, real quick. And just turned it into kind of a steamroll. So that's what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to do triple elixir in the next video. And then you know what? Maybe infinite elixir in the one after that.